Hi everyone, it's Nick here with Nick Tolman Music. Today we're going to go ahead and continue our beginner guitar lesson series using Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method Grade 1. Today we're going to be looking at page 9 and focusing on some new notes. Okay, so up to this point we've only learned three notes. We've learned E, F, and G. Today we're going to learn three new notes, B, C, and D. Before we jump in, make sure you've tuned your guitar. It's important to tune every time you pick up the guitar to make sure that you're making as good a sound as you possibly can. If you haven't seen it already, check out my video on how to tune your guitar. And let's go ahead and get started. So looking at page 9, it looks very similar to page 7 when we learned our three notes on the first string. But today what we're going to do is we're going to learn three new notes and they're all going to be found on the second string or the B string. Okay, second string, B string. Right, so we have our first string. I'll get a little closer here for you. We have our first string right here. which is E, and then the next string down is the B string or the second string. So all the notes that we're going to focus on today are on that. There's a diagram at the top of the page. Check it out. It will show you exactly uh, where, where that string is and where the notes are on the string. All right, so the first note that we're going to look at is B. B is an open note. Again, open means that you're not going to use any fingers on the left hand. You're just going to pick an open string. The open second string is B. B is found on the middle line of the staff. You'll notice there as you, as you look at it on the staff, it's right in the middle. Whenever you see a note on that middle line, it's always going to be B. It's going to be right here. Okay. As we look over to the diagram there, it shows kind of B up above the nut. And that just, that just means that it's open, right? So, open B. Okay, the next note that we're going to look at is C. C is going to be the first finger on the first fret of that B string. Okay. Pretty simple. First finger, first fret. The next note is going to be D, which is going to be... 3rd finger, 3rd fret on the B string, or the 2nd string that we're working on today. There we go, that's D. 3rd finger, 3rd fret on the 2nd string, or the B string. So let's go ahead and take a look at our exercises that we have here. So again, we're dealing with whole notes, half notes, quarter notes. If you haven't checked out my video on the different kinds of notes, Please check it out. It will explain exactly what you need to know. So, first exercise here on page 9 is going to be all whole notes using the notes B, C, and D. So they're all going to get four beats because they're whole notes. Metronome set to 72. And here's what this first exercise sounds like. Whole notes. One, two, ready, play. Really pretty simple starting out. It's just the very basic drilling of those three notes, getting you familiar with them at a nice, slow, uh, easy kind of pace, right? So let's go ahead and jump that up to 120 so you can hear what it sounds like at a faster tempo. One, two, ready, play. We're 
doing all down picks still. We haven't talked about doing up picks yet. We're gonna get there. Right now, it's all down. Kind of same concepts as we talked about in previous lessons, making sure that the notes, there's not dead space in between notes. You want the note to all, go all the way up to the next note and make sure that you're always focusing on that. That'll keep it smooth and not choppy, right? You want no dead space. You also want good sound, making sure that you're getting good pressure and uh, good tone on every single note. Now, just something to note as you, when we talk about tone, we've talked specifically about making sure that your left hand is doing the right things to control tone, right? So making sure that you're pressing down hard enough on the fret, making sure that you have good finger placement. We've talked about that. But we haven't really talked about the right hand. This can contribute to tone too, and we'll talk about it more as we get in later, but depending on the angle at which you pick might make a difference in tone. For instance, if I pick with my, with my pick completely parallel to the string, it's gonna have a really bright sound, right? More, with, there's more surface area of the pick hitting the string. It's gonna be, give me a really bright tone. That might be what you want. But if I angle the pick in slightly, so I'm picking kind of more on the edge of the pick, it's a darker sound, right? I tend to gravitate toward this sound as a more neutral sound. If you're wanting something with a really bright, maybe you're playing a lot of like bluegrass, flat picking kind of stuff, you want a brighter sound, then maybe maybe you go that other route. But I'm trying to focus on that. Experiment with it. it I can explain it, but really it boils down to picking and experimenting with the sound that you want to get with the pick. So that we'll just say that. Let's take a look at exercise two. So this is going to be half notes, there's a half rest at the end, and again we're still using down picks. Metronome set at 72, here we go, one, two, ready, play. Hear it at 120. One, two, ready, play. Rest, rest. There we go. Nothing to it. So let's take a look at the third exercise. It's going to be using quarter notes. Still just using B, C, and D. B, C, D. If you need to refer back to the top of the page, it will remind you where those notes are. But right now we're just focusing on B, C, D. So here we go. We're on exercise three. I've got my metronome set to 72. We're using just quarter notes on this exercise, all picking down. Here we go. One, two, three, play. <laughs> Good, 72 is a, a good starting point, but if you find that that tempo is too fast, don't hesitate to slow it down, right? So if you need to slow it down, slow it down, please do. If you gotta slow it down, way down to like 40 beats per minute, whatever you gotta do to, to get it right. It's better to play it perfectly and really slow than to play it with mistakes at a faster tempo. We wanna start slow, build our way up. Here's what exercise three sounds like at 120. One, two, ready, play. Rest. 
So that is page nine. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe and stay tuned for our next guitar lesson. Mm -hmm.